So now we're starting it off. All right. So, like I said, I think David. I don't know if David's ever gonna fucking come. Reply. Wait, can they hear you from me over there? Yeah, I can hear me. It's sensitive microphone. Yeah, see, right. that can, it can hear me. I Wait. just had to like. Are we going right now? Yeah, but I can cut it this time. Oh, no, that's fine. Because I wanted to tell the audience, well, Justin got a new microphone, so it's yeah. not better than our last podcast. HD shit right here. It's pretty good. Yeah, I wasted some 50 bucks on it, plus a warranty. It wasn't a waste. So. It wasn't, but I mean, like, I wasted good money on this mic. So. I, bet, I guess it would be, like, worth it, I guess. Yeah. What's our first one called? Soccer Robots? Yeah, Mech Kicking Robots. Don't worry, we'll name the video. I'll think of something interesting that comes out of this discussion, and I'll name yeah. the thing. I like I like the first, and then the picture you put, it looked real nice. All right. So welcome, ladies and gents, to the Apps Podcast. Yeah, it's Apps. Don't say that. What, the app? It's, yeah, app say the whole podcast. thing. Like, all right, all right, don't worry. Alrighty, no, please yeah, all right, stop. All right, I, I, I think it sounds right like that. The app? I, no, I'll say it. Oh, all right, okay. Welcome to the Alrighty, Please Stop podcast, and then you'll be like, or the Apps podcast okay. for sure. I think that sounds better, right? Yeah, well, we can start that out again. It's fine, you just cut it down, like, four seconds, or whatever. whatever. Yeah, okay, so... That's not us. <laughs> okay. It even looks like us. <laughs> on the floor. All right, you can say what you're gonna say. Are we going? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, people, welcome to the Alrighty, please stop podcast or the app podcast for short. From when we decided to change our name for yeah. the last episode. Yeah, this is our final, final, final name, name. Change, change. Yeah, this is our last thing. There's no one else. Yeah, I, I like it better, anyways. And we're here doing the weekend podcast again, so... Uh, yeah, so it's me, Justin Lopez, David Rodriguez over here. Over here. And yeah. David Bettis, our, sec- our third co-host, will be here shortly. I got a text from him. Just now? Yeah. It's just, All right. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I texted, but he said, yeah, that's what I want to do, but I might be a while. All so, right. so he'll be here in a while, so look out for that. We will also... We're missing other guests, but don't worry. They're guests. They'll come in and out if they choose not to. You know, we have our friends Celio, Juan, Gus, and Raul. And again, if you haven't realized, we're Mexican. We're, we're close to the border, so deal with it. I think. Why are you saying deal with it? Like, it well, yeah, because thing. like, there's who some, cares? Okay, well, I, I don't even equality. know why you have to. Uh, fuck equality. I don't even know why you <laughs> have to bring up that we're Mexican. Like, what the hell? I sound white. You sound white. Yeah. You look white. What the hell? Everyone looks white. Except for Raul, because he's kind of darker. And Gus. Oh, Gus is black. He's not Mexican. (laughs) He's our one black friend. He's not black. He's white. uh, white. I mean, he's Mexican. Nah, he's dark, so he looks black. Yeah, he looks black. Raul is our only... We call him Mexican Wolverine. Whenever, like, I'll try to put a picture of him up on the screen. So you can get an understanding of why we call him the Mexican Wolverine. He looks good, though, in his, uh, what is it, (laughs) jean jacket. Yeah, he he wears jean on jeans. That's crazy. <coughs> so didn't Wolverine do that? He wears a leather jacket. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it's fine. But it's still fine. It's okay. So let's get to our first topic, which will be Star Wars news. If you guys haven't realized, and if oh. you've been living under a rock, yeah, I was gonna tell you the new trailer dropped. Yeah. On Monday, I know, a football game in halftime, and everyone lost their shit about this movie. Um, it was they pretty good. They broke a lot of records. Like, they broke... With the trailer? Yeah. They broke two major records. Uh Like, it was one of, I think, most pre-sale for tickets. Like, people... like the Holy minute, shit, we're there. Like, I think the minute the... Like, no joke. I think the minute that video came out, everyone lost their shit. And, like, especially when it said, buy your tickets now. Like... Everyone was just like, oh my god, we gotta watch this movie. I thought it got more than like 10 million views, right? In the first 10 yeah, minutes dude, when it, it came out. It did. And like 100 crazy. million. How many, tra- how many views does it have right now? I don't know. Uh, let me check right now. Oh, I can check on my phone. You can check right here. We have. Nah, it's taking too long. I don't know why. Yeah, I but. I lost that smart thing. <laughs> We're playing the that arena. That video, like, just blew everyone away. And uh, there's also some more interesting news coming out about it like one for example oh did you see what i said about that that 
I think it's gonna be a female lead, and it was kind of yeah. Like, she's the more important one, and then the guy comes out. I later. think if they make a female lead for Star Wars, it'd be really groundbreaking. You get me? It's never been done before, right? It's never other been than, done before. Other than the Leia. Oh yeah, but Leia was more like a secondary character. Oh my god, we got one more review. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably David. Fuck. Yeah, but I like. That. Uh, yeah, because Leia but, was like a secondary character. Like the whole story. Was, she was kind of important, though. She was the, important. In the second. The, th- the first trilogy. Yeah. Of the th- older ones. Yeah, and then, like, but oh. I think it focused more on Luke, and then this, the uh, prequels, I guess, focused on Anakin or Obi Wan. Oh, it already has 43 million views, and it came out four days ago. 43 million views. That's like 10 days. million a day, right there. Damn, dude. It's crazy. <clears throat> Dude, have you seen the reactions that some of the actors, like even some actors? Oh yeah, yeah, like John I Boyega, the brown guy, right? Yeah, <laughs> he was looking at it, and when he came out, he, he like flipped his... over yeah. the couch. <laughs> that was pretty great. But yeah, dude, like it's a really great movie. So here's some big news, I guess, coming out of Star Wars. That um. Oh wait, here it is. I like the music in the background too. It's really awesome. I was looking for it. Yeah. To add it to my playlist because it just sounded so good, but I couldn't find it. It's like the whole trailer sound, but I like the music and the. I can get you. He's right now. He's showing me that John Boy. You go. I'll try to put a link in the description like, to it. There he is in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, John Boyega. The like I don't know the secondary character in this movie lost his shit when he saw that lightsaber go up. That's crazy though. I like how scared he looked. Like. He did it, and he came out. And he's he's, just like, he's looking at the last and oh, like, oh, and he shit. swings at it, like yeah. and it cuts off. That's I think that's really nice because he's like a stormtrooper, right? But he has the force in him. I don't know. Dude. I, we don't know anything about this. Wait, movie. no, that's what the guy was saying, Harrison Ford. He, well, yeah, he, he says it like in order. It's true, the force, the well, dark yeah, side, like he says and it. like so it kind of makes Cause, sense. Because like the uh, Ray, which is the girl, the well, the main lead supposedly. Oh, I don't know if she is. Is she? I'm not sure. They haven't said anything. I, I think, think she's, she is. I think she's the lead. And then... She asked, like... They're, they're both the leads, and then they'll both come together, yeah. and then it'll be, like, a two-part thing. Yeah. Because I like how they go... That part actually was really cool. When she goes, the stories, are they true? And then, like, you hear Han Solo go, yes. All of them. And then, like, they go to hyperspeed, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, this that is background like, looks good. That was super cool. I hope it's, like, uh, a really good one. Like... How Avatar, no one thought it'd be good. It yeah. was the best selling movie ever. It still it has like three billion dollars in sales. I think in the movie theater and the DVDs and the Blu-rays and the online copies I and the red box. I think Star Wars is gonna beat that. I, no, I hope it's like that where it's like a really long movie with yeah. really good effects, but it's all done perfectly. Yeah, if, if or not, not perfectly because it could have been better. If it's, or not really. Yeah, it's, it's if really it good. isn't like as long as Avatar, but yet. I would say better. I hope, okay it's a, with that. I hope it's as long as Avatar. Because it was like a three hour movie, but it all had good story, good plot, yeah. and it all had to do with everything. So I liked it. Because yeah, it, it was long. It was James Cameron. James mm. Cameron is James Cameron. Mm. Really good. Good, good movie. So, oh, speaking of movies, I wanted to tell you uh, Tuesday, we we're supposed to go see Goosebumps, and nothing happened. But what? <laughs> what? I was just gonna say like No what happened was I went to go see it yesterday With yeah. friends I just met that day Like we met on a chat room Something And it was crazy We met up where It was cool We all liked each other I guess I don't know Yeah This is one girl She looks really cute I like her And she likes me We were texting on our own too <laughs> Anyways that does, does, This is this, like No no it doesn't matter It's it not important matter. But yeah. I saw the movie with that Yeah the movie was really good in the Goosebumps. You would like it. It has the comedy. It has the good action effects, visual effects. The sounds are cool. Is Jack Black good? Yes, he's really intense in the whole movie. <laughs> and then he becomes like... Cause, like he, he's super serious the whole movie. And then he, be, the he becomes... No, no. Okay. He's just intense. And then he becomes like the main... Kind of a main character, side character. Was he like funny at some points? Because I remember in the trailer when... Yes, and, like, and, and I think two maybe three because there's one where they're in a graveyard and i don't know i don't know any goosebumps book the only goosebumps book i know is the mask oh yeah and because i saw that on cartoon network that shows scary you know what i didn't realize that 
Goosebumps was filmed in Canada. It's in a Canadian film. I mean, Canadian show. I didn't know that. What? It's Canadian. I didn't know. That. I didn't know that Wait, either. The movie or the show? The show. Oh. Like the show in the books, like Ariel Stein. Yeah. He's like, I think he's Canadian. Cool. Yeah. I, I, they, they never really say his name either. If it's Ariel Stein. Ariel Stein. Yeah. Maybe it's like a oh. Jewish name. No, and like the 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 main important thing in the plot is crazy, like, cause he wrote him when he was a kid and they were his only friends and then the, no no it was like a whole bully story oh okay but it, it, wait the books bullied him no. or like oh the kids oh kids. okay okay <laughs> just watch the movie you like it everyone watching you should watch it it's really good i recommend it uh there's a, a good good twist is like all of the twists what a the, twist like m night Shyamalan. yeah be like, what the, the twist? there's a couple good ones like two or three i don't know uh, there was the good action, the good cameos from the books. Yeah, like, the the main thing is Slappy, the yeah they told I heard about that. Dog, it was Slappy. He's though. like the main guy, and he steals all the books, and he's opening them and burning them and letting out everyone. You see the abominable snowman of Pasadena. Yeah, a wolf, a werewolf with yeah. shorts and Converse. <laughs> it's a really good look on him. I thought it'd be dumb, but like I, at first I was like, "Why is he wearing shorts?" <laughs> and then I saw his shoes. And I'm like, "Oh, that's a good look for him." Converse is like rocking them. Converse. No, he was, but they were like ripped open, and oh, okay. the heels were like on his calves because he got super big. So oh, I get you. That happened. Then there was a haunted car, which I didn't even know was yeah. a goosebump book. I, a haunted car. After oh yes, yes, yes! I remember. And that it's book. it's like a dark black, purplish, yeah, good, beautiful car with a beautiful sounding engine. It was like real intense, good, fast car. Uh, seeing the movie makes me want to read a couple of these books that I've never heard of, like the haunted car, the abominable snowman, the werewolf guy. There's a giant fifty foot mantis. Yeah, that it one. looks really good. And there's that thing. I read the. I read a couple of these. There's toy robots that shoot lasers I, yeah. or slappy I read, or zombies I read or most of them like in middle school cause like I was in the library and I would go in and I'd be like well what the fuck am I gonna be in here cause like back in middle school like they had like this thing where they kept all of us outside like prisoners and shit they did? yeah oh yeah, yeah and they sure. wouldn't let you lunch or something yeah and they wouldn't let you in unless you had a good reason so like if you had the reason to like I don't know Go to the library. They let you in, but you have to have like a pass and stuff. So you walk in the library, and they like watch you like a hawk. Like if you're not doing what you say you're gonna do, they fucking kick you out. So I was like, okay, I'm in the which library. Which middle school did you go to? Uh, United South. Oh, I was there for only sixth grade, and then I went to one else. Or yeah. Something. So like there, it was like fucking crazy. So I got bored there, and I was like, well, might as well read something. And this is like, I guess when the time when everyone was like, oh my god, I read the newest. Mask of the Haunting. It's not an actual book, it, but you get me. It was like all over Goosebumps. And everyone was just talking about Goosebumps. Like, even when you're just sitting down, you're going to hear one person go, Did you read that book about Goosebumps? Yeah, I read that book about book. And like... <laughs> <laughs> so intense to forget how to yeah. talk. And like, it was super... Like, and I was just like, Well, these books might sound super cool. So I read some. And like, they turned out really good. I liked most of them. God damn it. So... Back to the Star Wars news. Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens will be streaming on Netflix 2016. What? There's a catch, however. There's a big catch. Hmm. It's only available for Canada. Why Canada? <laughs> oh, they probably filmed it there when that snow scene and the trees. When I see those trees, and the goosebumps too, the trees, that didn't look American. There's nowhere, no, maybe New Jersey. But these in trees Montana. look super haunting, like thick <laughs> trees. That's why the only thing I can think of is New Jersey, Jersey, yeah. Jersey, because there's a thing called the Jersey Devil that lives in the forest. Yeah. And when I see stories about that, the forest is always super haunting and scary looking. So it makes sense to be in Canada because it looks like it was only made in Canada. So yeah, I get it. That'd be cool. But yeah, like it's only gonna be available to Canada, 2016. So if you want to go apply for citizenship at Canada, you can go do that. <laughs> but like, you, you can you... also just like visit in the summer, like how I'm gonna do. Or no, nah, not this summer. Nah, don't. It's already gonna come out anyways in theaters. Yeah. So, how do you feel that Canada gets to see it on Netflix next year, and we don't? 
Is that at all kind of like? Not really, because we we're gonna get it in theaters anyway. So why would it matter that it's on Netflix over there? Because like, what are you doing? Don't fucking worry about that. I'm not even playing anything. What was that shit? Well, anyways. <gasps> okay, whatever. Oh, sorry. I'm playing Pokemon on my phone. My favorite guy just came out, Weedle, and I killed it by accident. <laughs> so, um, yeah, how do you feel about Star Wars coming out? For, like, it does not bother you at all? Like, no, we're... That people get, like, people in Canada could just be like, we get to watch this shit for free. Like... <laughs> well, not really. Oh, well, they, they have to pay they... every month, but I mean, like, they can sit at home and watch this movie as many times as they want why we had to play, I, like, I think it's great for them you don't wish it was for us though oh well, yeah but I don't really have Netflix so it doesn't really bother me that much do you have Netflix yeah I have Netflix it's, oh. it's good oh it probably bothers you then right a little I guess a little bit it, it just bothers me knowing that Canadians not, no offense to Canada a eh, but well that's offensive right yeah that's, that's a big... I'm watching Canadians on a YouTube channel, and, they and they've, say, no, they, they've never they've said, said that, yeah. ever. But anyways, yeah, like, I feel like it bothers me in the sense that why does Canada get to try it out first? Is it just because, like... I'm sure by the summer, uh, all of North America we get it, and then by winter, the whole world, probably. I don't know, because, like, right now... It was made here in America, right? Or... I don't know where they were filming. Because Snowy Woods, that's just Canada. So that makes sense. Snowy Woods could be Montana, too. North Dakota. Are there woods in there? Oh, shit. What did you think? Is this mountains? Yes. It's not just mountains. They're, like, on the Rockies, aren't they? Oh, Montana, only the left side. Do you know your your maps of where Montana... No, no, Montana's, like, way up north. <laughs> yeah, Isn't it next to Washington? Or Idaho? No. Well, wait, Wisconsin? No, I... no, no, that's the lakes. <laughs> well, Fuck, I mean, <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, like, it kind of pisses me off that that gets to happen. But also, like... Oh, my God. You're so lame right now. <laughs> people, like, who have, um... What the fuck? But people who have Netflix right now, like, most of the good movies are getting taken away. Because, wait. like... Well, like, like what, what are good movies, you think? Like, Wolf of Wall Street. That's oh, one that's example. One. Like, they, they're taking it off. and It's going to Hulu. Because like that's stupid. Ne- ne- it's because like Netflix wants to focus on its like its original shows, which are which is do- which are doing yes, really good. The uh, House of Cards. Is yeah, the House one. of Cards. Orange is the New Black. That's Netflix. Yeah, Orange is the New Black. Oh, yeah. uh, BoJack Horseman. Oh, that one looks good. Uh, I've never seen it, but I really want to because it looks funny. Nar- I've seen YouTube ads. Narco, I think that's what it's called. Narco, mm. and some other show, but like those shows like fucking high up there and they're kind of focusing on that more than like just the movies like they had Transformers Age of Extinction there that's good that's a good one yeah well uh, it's my, an overload of explosions though I'm nah not gonna... it's a good story those those are the only movies my dad likes it's funny he likes only the Transformers ones uh the Fast and Furious <laughs> ones and I think the Pirates of the Caribbean ones so I guess he likes just series movies and Star Wars. I yeah. Guess. I told him he should get the day off so we can all go see uh, Star Wars together. I get you. On, is it going to be Friday night? It's going to be on a, it's on the 18th. So. Of November? No, December. Uh, December. Yeah. All right. Do you think they're still filming? Or no, they're, they're already. Or like they're, there's no way they're still th- filming. They're just editing now. I think it's already done. They, oh, maybe they're editing, but like, why well, would it be done? And still have because like the month. movies are done. Like, oh yeah, it's on Friday, December eighteenth. That's gonna be the the third week of December. That's gonna be great. Because like, it takes a movie like three, like for Star Wars, I guess maybe like four or five months to to film like on yeah, set on sets and Eric then Banner afterwards went together doing makeup. Yeah, and then afterwards, that Sith looks kind of real good. With What's Kylo it? Ren? Yeah, and his team with they have stabs, electric yeah. stabs, and like blaster guns. The, his team looks real nice. Now that you mentioned uh, the 18th, there's another. This is some rivalry news. Oh my god! Don't, don't tell me fucking Alvin and Chipmunks. Again. No, 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 the, not only Alvin <laughs> and Chipmunks. Okay, so. Another last, movie? Like, Are these okay. guys insane? So there's, if you guys didn't know, in our last podcast, we talked about how Alvin and the Chipmunks, the, the fourth fucking movie, is going to be coming out on the same day 
Yeah, we said that. And, well, yeah, just in case they didn't watch it. Oh, wow. And they're going to go against Star Wars, and people are saying they're stupid for doing that. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't blame them, because they are stupid for going against... No one's going to go watch... Kids, kids are. Monks. Well, well, no, not, not even kids. Kids, the kids pa- are going to watch... The, the parents are like, nah, fuck you, we're yeah. going to see Star Wars. I'm going to educate you on this shit. Yeah. And then they're going to lose their minds. So, uh... What? Like I said... So, The Revenant, the new movie uh, be- oh, being directed by Quentin Tarantino. That's the one out. starring Leonardo DiCaprio in yeah. the woods, right? And he it's like a scary ghost movie with it's not, it's a civil a, war. It's not a ghost movie. It's like... Isn't it? It's an Indian. Like, it's like killing Indians. And yeah, it's civil there's war. There's no ghost. I don't know where you got the... It's not this... Where are you getting these <laughs> the, stories? You're I'm so, telling you. You're okay, so I, I'm pretty sure Leonardo DiCaprio has an Indian son and they kidnap him. And they leave him to die in the woods. What the fuck? Dirt. Are you, Isn't what are you that ta- what No, you're not. What are you okay, talking tell me, about? Okay, you tell me. It's a movie about... Oh, I don't know the whole plot because I haven't been keeping up with it either. But... Yeah, I'm telling you. It it's makes a group it. of soldiers going against a bunch of Indians. And most of them start dying. And then they have to fight for survival in the wilderness. And it's cold. It's, it's like freezing. While they're like trying to survive, they're also being chased by the Indians. There's no child in I don't know what movie you're thinking I'm pretty thinking sure of. there's a kid, and I'm pretty sure it's during the Civil War because... Just because they're... Or no, before the Civil War. After. Oh, Civil America. War. After. I think it's after or before. No. Whatever. Is Civil War the same as the Revo- American Revolution? No. No! I, that one, the one that happened first, before the American Revolution. Because when we were settling, the Indians didn't really like it, Okay, so first of all, fighting. there were still Indians after the revolution. You know that, right? They weren't just all yeah. like, wiped extinct, like dinosaurs. I fucking know that. <laughs> okay. God damn. So anyways, Leonardo DiCaprio, starring his new movie by, directed by Quentin Tarantino, called The Revenant, and it's going against Star Wars. That one might actually be pretty good. And uh, I, I would want to see that one. An interview from Yahoo Movies asked DiCaprio I, I think I know what you're gonna say how does he feel about like The Revenant coming out against Star Wars oh. and so this is what he said hopefully it just means more people are excited to go to the movies I think the people know this time of year is where a lot of great pieces of art are going to come together yeah I would never think that we'd be able to compete with Star Wars that's something that's embedded in our cultural DNA but I think when people bring I mean, people begin to hear about the movies, they will want to go see them, and that's what we can hope for. So, like, how do you... Did you know he had to, like, eat raw flesh yeah. of deer, and he almost died of hypothermia or something? And he climbed into the yeah, an, animal. Like an animal. An animal inside. Yeah. And he almost died filming that Leonardo, movie. Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> deserves awesome. an Emmy, but he doesn't get one. Aren't they Oscars? Oscars, Emmys, there's Emmys are things like awards too. Emmys are like uh, music videos, aren't they? That's a Grammy. Oh, Grammys are movie. No, yeah, Emmy, yeah, yeah. No, it, I'm I'll, wrong. I'll wait till you like realize. No, I got, it. I got it. Calm <laughs> down. It was only like one <laughs> second. Okay. He's fucking four. It's fucking loud. So yeah, where are you going? Nothing. Why? What are you doing? Oh, like that. Oh, yeah, I can probably hear my bed. It's creaking. If you didn't realize, David moved all the way to his bed, which is really... So if you hear him with a low voice, it's his own fault. Oh, calm down. So what anyways, how do you feel that Star Wars, The Revenant, and Alvin and the Chipmunks, how do you feel that they're going to be placed out? But how do you feel about what Leonardo DiCaprio said? That's good, because at that time of the year... It's hardly anything coming out. Oh my, yeah, it's mostly October, November, December, and then January. There's nothing at all. There's never anything, and if there's anything, it's nothing like worth watching. It's like a bad one or something like that. American Sniper came out in January. Yeah, I know, but it wasn't bad. Everyone loved it. Yeah, that was like one of the only ones because <laughs> that happened kind of recently, though, right? No, it didn't happen recently. It was like the story of a... My God, have you even seen it? Or like... Yeah, I saw it. Have you seen American Cupid? What? Why are you... <laughs> Get back to Leonardo DiCaprio. I already told you what I think. I don't know why you're still asking me this question. I think it's dumb how you say, how do you feel about this? Oh, for like everything. Because... But yeah, the... I get it. It's fine. I like it. No, I mean like, it's supposed to like... 
create more deep conversation. You know, I could just be like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio's statement, good or not. <laughs> and like, you'll just yeah. be like, yeah, yeah. you'll just be like, yeah. yeah. And then that's it. And that's okay, the end next of topic, it. Next yeah, topic. next topic, and that's it. So, like, oh, yeah, I like it. I'm into it. It was, it was pretty good how you mentioned about other movies coming out because it's kind of important, too. Oh, well, what about you? Well, the way I feel like, uh, yeah, the way I feel that he does, like, how he says it, like, it's a, I think it's like the most honest way a person can say. This is a great time to be living in this year. You get me? Yeah. Like, he's, like... I can see that. And I can also see, like, how he's super, like... You can even tell, like, by the by his own quote, that he's, like, sup, like super surprised that this movie is going against Star Wars. And I'm pretty sure he's just, like... He's just so happy that he's able to compete against it. Obviously, like, they're not gonna make as much money as Star Wars as... I think they'll still make a lot of money. They'll make a lot of money. Because people like yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. And that's... It's like an original idea, right? I don't think there's been anything like that. Other than the actual... Is it based on a true story? What? I feel like it could be. The story? Yeah, the... What's it? Revenant? It's not based on a true story. It's fiction. Oh, I feel like it could be... Oh, I get you. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm excited for? In what? movie things also... The Heart of the Sea. Is that the one with, uh... It's the Moby Dick movie with Thor as a normal guy. Uh, what's his? Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Have you seen the po- movie poster for that? The boat is tiny in comparison to the giant whale underneath. It's so good. Yeah, I get you. What the fuck? Well, Sorry. I just think that, um, I think it's gonna be a really good movie, that one. I just think that, like... I don't know, cause like, what? How how do you think? Like, do you it's, think people were like? It, no, it was exaggerated a lot. The Moby Dick. No, no, no that's like I'm not talking about Moby Dick. Oh <laughs> no, I got no. Well, yeah, it was like it's it is based on a true story, and it was exaggerated, but it was really one of the biggest whales, and I think it. I'm not sure if they ended up killing it. I don't think they ever did, and whales live forever. Like, they live for up to 250 years. They're not turtles. <laughs> no, you... but they're whales. They're, they live a long time. So, I'm, I'm really interested in that one. I would like to go see that one. You want to go see that one? Want to come back? Oh, my God. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, How are you not excited for these movies? I am about? excited, but, like, not yeah. excited to, like, just scream it out and just be like, hey. You want to go watch this movie? Oh, my God. I would. But you know? But, yeah, back to Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that everything... He, I don't know. He's such a good actor, and yet he gets treated like shit. Not really. Like, no, no. Like, Remember he doesn't how win a lot of awards is what I mean. He hasn't. I don't think he's ever won an Oscar. And that's a whole internet meme thing I'm yeah like sure. everyone makes fun of how he never wins an Oscar did I saw this conspiracy thing where when he was on the Titanic that yeah. it was him he survived and he changed his name he went to war he survived that came back to New York become a billionaire oh fuck fuck <laughs> shit I wasn't watching anyways and he turned his name into Jack, and he became the Great Gatsby. It's a whole one storyline, and I was like, "Oh, that so like actually it, makes it's sense." A, it's like a fan theory. No, it's yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, like, it's a like a fan theory. A, yeah, it's but like it's how, it's really believable. Like I like it, you know. So you're saying like how Jack from Titanic, who like sunk into the bottom of the no, ocean? No, no, not him. Someone else that looked. It, I know he acted. That, that was his role to play, but it was someone else. And like exactly like that guy, but he made it out. And yeah, that happened. Yeah, I, I wanted to say something really quickly about that. Uh, Yo, what up? 
well li- whales living for 250 years. Oh my god, did you search it up? How long do whales live? Oh, actually, live? wait, you're actually kind of right. Kind of right. It says here, whales can live for 40 to 200 years, depending on their species. Oh, there you go. But it's rare to find one that lives over a century. So, like... It's because uh, people hunt whales. Yeah. And they're assholes, because whales are, like, the best animals. I don't know if you see my background. I have like a whale background. It looks really cool. That's why I chose it. All right. So now moving to equality news. Oh my god! Are you still talking about Mexicans? No. What? No. I got over Mexicans. This is about same black people. Oh fuck. Black people. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> okay. So this is involving uh, Marvel's. Um, Marvel's Black Panther and they're and how the they're Rock? Looking. No, where are you getting? What do you? <laughs> pay attention, okay? Doesn't the Rock play Black Panther in the new one coming out? I kind of find it weird. You tell me I'm not excited for these movies and yet you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> so, okay. like I'm saying, okay, what do despite you want? being no. two years away, Marvel is still searching for a director for Black Panther. It's been reported that Marvel has been looking to hire a black filmmaker. For the black superhero, I would cast Lee Daniels because he directed The Butler. But de- well, yeah, you can cast them, but it depends if they accept it and agree with how your creative yeah. directing is. Well, anyways, so Anthony Mackie, who plays the Falcon in Marvel, he told he said that um, to get the job as a director for Black Panther, you don't have to be black. You get me? Yeah, because like it'd be better though. Like, in my opinion. Well, yeah, but like he's he's saying that it's regardless. Like you don't have to just like. Yeah. It's like saying when you have a a female superhero, you don't have to get a female director. It's just to show off and be like, hey, look, female superhero, female director. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Like, yeah. Cause, oh. Because like, <laughs> it'd be super weird. Because people, there's gonna be people out there who are gonna be bitching. And say. Oh, that's so sad. How come there couldn't... Why is it a white director, not a black director? That doesn't make sense. What? I hate those assholes, people. I don't know what they're talking about. Apparently, like, me in movies. (laughs) I don't know where I read all this. I'm pretty sure I get it from off of Reddit, but... Yeah. Not just Reddit, but, like, actual things. So, yeah. So, then, uh... Mackie told a variety Who's Mackie? Uh, Anthony Mackie? I guess Anyway He told Anthony Mackie about uh, the, the race factor Like how it factors into like having A black director having to like Just direct Black Panther which is really dumb In my opinion but he says The thing is I don't think the race of a director Has to do with their ability to tell a story I think it's all about the director's ability to be able to relate to that story and do it justice. I think men can direct women, and two of my greatest work experience were with female directors. So I think it all depends. May the best man or woman win. So, do you agree with like how Marvel needs a black director just to make for a black superhero movie? Or no, like they don't need it. I prefer it was like. Uh, not black. Like who? Who directed the new Ant Man? Peyton Reed. Hmm. Peyton Reed. He should do it because Falcon comes out right. Okay, and, I don't think that's and like. And the uh, yeah. The other was it Avengers? It was yes. It was just Ant Man and him. No, but in the Avengers movie. What about the Avengers? Falcon also? No, Captain America. I was thinking of that because. I thought about the giant ship in the air. But no, that's that's Captain America. What are you talking about? Like, you just... The giant flying ship that was a helicopter aircraft carrier? The helicarrier. Yes. Was that in Captain America? It was in Captain America too. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that actor for the Falcon... Yeah. That's him, right? Yeah, it's who... Mm-hmm. Do you not know any... I th- no, I don't. I don't know directors. I know actors. <laughs> I know actors, movies, and release times. 
<laughs> but yeah, other than that, it's like it just flies through your ears. No, I I try to follow a lot of things. So, anyways, yeah, he basically. Well, anyways, what I'm saying is the guy who directed Captain America two and the first one, I think he should direct this next one because that's all gonna be coming out, right? This and is Black Panther. What are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. Forget about it. I'm talking about Black Panther having a director and how yes. Marvel wants to get a black director just because it's a black superhero. So like I'm saying, do you think you actually need a black director? I said no. <laughs> oh my god, well, I told you like, I don't I don't think that needs to happen for this to be a good movie or for it to be a good story to be relatable. Well, I personally don't find it either, but like yeah. I don't know. I find it stupid how they have to appease to other people. Like some people will complain about it. I don't oh, know. Boy. It's like if you were did you hear that someone killed themselves because there is a a black lead in Star Wars. I didn't hear that. It was crazy. I think that's really dumb. Like, why does that even matter? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah. like I was saying, like it's like saying if you had a gay actor. So that what do you mean? What does that mean? You have to get a gay director too, just to go coincide with them. You get me? Like I don't know. I find that stupid. Like mm. Hollywood's just really weird nowadays. Mm. Like mm. <laughs> yeah, really. More like Holly weird. Am I right? Oh God! Uh. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man. Now to Batman v Superman news. Some exciting things there. Mm. According to Latino Review, Batman v Superman may have its budget may have risen to four four hundred and ten million dollars. Okay, so currently two thousand Yeah, it oh. went up. So currently two thousand eleven Pirates of the Caribbean on Strangers Tides is the record holder for the most expensive movie with a total production cost adding up to four, $410.6 million. So, it's quite possible that DC's next movie could surpass that figure. So, On uh, Stranger Tides, is that the latest one that came out? Yeah. With the Water of Life? Did you hear about the new one coming out? Yeah, there's a new one. Uh, Dead part. Man Tell No Tales? Yeah. That one looks real good. I would... I like the Pirates movies. I want to see them all. I want to... I've seen a couple... But I'm not sure if I've seen all of them all through the whole thing. Oh, I've only seen the first three. I never saw the fourth one. So what I want to do is I want to buy like each one and then watch them. So yeah, um, that's how into it I am. <laughs> this is another thing. It was also stated that this news comes after two weeks after it was reported that Marvel's age, uh, Marvel's Agents of Shield, stupid. I mean Marvel's Marvel's Avengers Infinity War. Might come with a what price. Is that tag. is that the third one? Infinity War. They're making a third Avengers. Do you not keep up with movie news? Who would be the bad guy in that? Thanos. Oh, the purple. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> he came out in. Uh, Please excuse David for not knowing his. I'm not into Marvel. I'm not a huge fucking nerd like you are. Take it easy. Isn't Thanos? It's not that you have to be a nerd I know, about it, but I mean, but like, you I have to pay attention to movie news. I did. I thought it would just be, like, all two Avengers movies. That makes sense. Oh, it's pretty good. What do you mean movie news? I never heard about this new one, but whatever. Are you serious? This no. Movie? This came this out? Is, this is the first time I've heard about this. Oh, my God. Anyways, <laughs> it's going to be, it could be $1 billion price tag. While the numbers sound way too high to be real, Batman v Superman, Donald Justin's total cost at least seems plausible. So how do you feel that the... What? Why are they spending money on movies? Is it for explosions and cool effects, right? It's for everything. For actors, for oh, paying yeah, actors, it, pay pr- production, everything. The most, But mostly it's production value, like to see like all these real uh, green screen special effects all the yeah like catering to the actors when they're working that's not one thing they cover but whatever yeah like after they've been working for like four hours on scenes they have people set up like a a thing with food and i they, know what it is like but sandwiches. that's not 
charging you, and that's not of that doesn't cost no, but you. The, the movie pays for that. It's like a hundred for every table or something. It's like I know you, what I'm talking you about. You get right? the okay. Don't listen to David, people. He gets these weird estimate. <laughs> I swear to God. Anyway, so like I said, how do you feel with this? Um, this with them revealing this money, I just like just uh how it could cost. Do you think that this will affect like? Do you think this will actually matter? Like, do you think the production price is going to be good? Or could they just have used this money for something else? Like, I think it makes good jobs, you know? For people to become actors and to work on makeup. And you get sound guys. You get the animators for special effects. Yeah. You get the stunt teams with the wires. You get stunt people. To do crazy stuff like oh shit and you crash this car and save the world and then I'll jump out. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I think it's good actually. I think it's bad because they're like spending a whole lot to make a movie, but in the long run, I think the movie will make the money back and even more. Yeah. You know. Wait, that's a bad thing. No, I think it's good because when people see the movie, they'll get all the money back even more. Yeah. To pay the actors and everyone who worked hard on it to get them a good life, you know? Yeah, I get you. It's like, that's how it basically works. Like, you get to first mm-hmm. pay off the debt. Like, you get to pay off 410 and then whatever you get left over goes to the actors and everything The workers else. and yeah. the directors. Obviously, like, the production crews aren't going to get a million dollars, like... Oh, they might, like... They get paid, uh, like... Like, 100000 for each, or maybe, like, 50000 or 50, 25 or a, or a couple thousand yeah like somewhere around there but they won't get paid a million not, like a million's mostly for actors for, and directors yeah actors, directors that's about it but not even they, they just get like I wanna say hundreds of thousands not not millions I don't know but yeah, I, I don't know that much about making movies but what I do know about it is that I would like to work in that industry cause I think I'm a good writer People tell me I'm a good writer. I can act pretty okay. Like, I'd be a good... Calm side, down, side every side skill character. David. Huh? Every skill David. <laughs> like, I, I am, though. I know a lot of things. The thing I want to work on is computer stuff. Because so, I, I want to be an animator for, like, uh, Pixar and shit. Yeah. And then from there, I can move on to, like, doing video game stuff. Doing artwork. I like how you're like basically gonna fall asleep right now. Like you're already <laughs> snuggled in in his bed. Like you like I'm gonna give you a description of what David's like. What I'm she's still doing. talking though. He's on his bed, laid down with pillows next to him, and then he's got his game, his, his phone there playing Pokemon Red or Blue. No, it's uh, Crystal Bitch. He's basically playing Pokemon. And if the reason oh, he's not, <laughs> and if he's not talking as much, it's because he's too focused on Pokemon. I've been talking, very. I so. even turned the sound down for your bitch ass because you're like, oh, it's so turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> so, go on. What were you saying? Anyways, now this is the ticket prices news. Hmm. Ticket price. Yeah. Is it always like ten dollars? I hope they don't raise it. <laughs> it's going to suck for you then right now after oh, this news. Fuck. So Go the on. last year, the about? average movie t- ticket, ticket, sound like a ticket, ticket, cost roughly $8.17. Last year? Yeah, last year. For the average consumer. Oh. This year, it looks like the studios aren't the only folks breaking records, as the average ticket price in 2015 just topped that record with $8.34. Now being named... What's the difference? 20 cents. Oh, that's not that bad. But for some people, it is. Hey, like, that's why... That's oh. the main reason a lot of people go to the movies nowadays. Why? It's high prices. The $8? I... Okay, I, I can... I get it. All right. Do you get me what... I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah, because, like... <laughs> obviously, to you... It's nothing. Well, like, no, like, I had to ask my dad for, like, $10 to go see Goosebumps the other day. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I, yeah, and even then, it was, like, ten fifty. I had to ask my friend, oh, can you help me out? I need 50 more cents. He's like, yeah, I got you. But, yeah, because, like... Like, I didn't pay $8. I paid more than 10 Like, it, it 
it's a huge thing to me. Like, fuck what did that. you? But like, what did you watch in three D or something? No, just cause I guess it was the Alamo Draft House. Oh okay. Oh no, wait. He gave me twenty. Never mind. And then I spent like an extra four for a drink during the movie. That's cool. You get to order food. It's the first time I went to Alamo Draft House. It's like a restaurant, yeah, I a know. bar, yeah, I know, and a movie theater. I know. Oh my god, the triple threat! <laughs> Holy shit! So crazy! Oh my god, I love that place. I really want to go see. What I want to do though, I want to see the new Star Wars out of town in San Antonio at the IMAX. IMAX? Yeah. I bet you'd sold out already. Fuck. Like, honestly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, for so Thursday hard. night, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Everyone goes to midnight premieres to dress up and shit, but I'm not so sure about the next morning, you know? I'm pretty sure it's still be a lot. Uh, I'll have to check it out. Because you gotta think about it, like, the people that went to the midnight premiere, well, the people that got there first to the people who's after, the, to, after them, to the people after them, and after them, uh. and after them. You get me? It kind of builds up. And. Anyways, but yeah, ticket prices are going up. And to a lot of people, it's not a lot. Like, people. Well, to the rich people, it's just like, oh, this is like money I can find in my couch. It's like $8. Or money I find on the street. But to most people, they're. I remember not- one time in high school, I found a $20 bill and I was so hyped. And by the end of the day, everyone was talking about that kid who found $20. <laughs> And then I went with my brother to his friend's house. Yeah. And we we're gonna buy pizza and I was like, yo, I got this. I just found twenty bucks. Here you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so badass. But that, that day was a good day. Yeah. We but played dance central and we went swimming, we played pool for a bit. You're getting even more nuzzled in that bed, I swear to god. Yeah. <laughs> to get out of that bed. <laughs> okay, what were you gonna say? But yeah, like to most people, <gasps> it is a lot of money, and they're like, I'm not going to waste $8 to watch a movie that either A, is two hours long, B... I hope it's like a three hour long movie. Or, uh... I really do. Or I, B, I, like, um, what's, what is it? Or a movie that I'm not even going to... A movie I'm not even going to understand. What do you mean, like Inception? I never saw that one. Oh, no, not like... I really it doesn't want. need to be like Inception, but like, in the case of like... People won't know what the whole point is. You are really getting us. Is that why you just put down like. Are you gonna pass that on me? Is that what's going on? <laughs> so tired, dude. Okay, what? Yeah, like. You're talking about. People. What do you mean that they're not gonna understand? Like, people who just go watch a movie. Like, they could watch Star Wars and they never seen the other Star Wars. And yeah, you don't need a. It's gonna be a new trilogy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but like, it has. understand the other one. It has its backstories to the, the other one. The only thing you need to understand is uh, Darth Vader. And even then, they explained it in the trailer that he took his head. That, that and, like, the leftover stuff of his armor. Were you? Don't you remember? Have you even watched Star Wars? Or are you just saying whatever just comes out of your brain? I'm telling you. He takes his head. Or Have like you not the seen helmet. the end of episode 6 when, like, they burn him alive? Oh my god. He gets it though. It's in the trailer. He has it, but doesn't mean he chopped it's off like, his head. No, it's like a relic of the Sith Empire. Yeah. It's like one of the final remaining things, and that's what makes him kind of. But powerful. I mean, like, people who haven't watched, like, who don't remember the last ones, and like. Oh, I'm pretty sure they know what Darth Vader is. Like, even if they never heard of Star Wars, they've seen. Like but I mean, Darth Vader isn't gonna be red. involved in this. Is what I'm saying. It does like they're gonna mention him, but it's not I gonna be. Th- I think it's gonna be like a flashback ghost type of deal with old characters. Yeah, but I'm saying that they're not gonna. If they do bring him back, you know what I really this. hope happens. Outfit. That is like an unpopular opinion. What? I s- I hope Jar Jar Binks is in this one, like as a throwback to maybe flashback too, because that's what I thought made the. F- episode one really good because when i was growing up i saw episode one as my first star wars and that was like the beginning of the thing yeah and i was like damn this shit's so good oh my god this action whoa they're they just got away whoa they're doing a now he's in a pod race what oh now he's training what the fuck is this red guy 
No, not Liam Neeson. And then he has an awesome space battle. Come on, dude. I really liked it. The effects were good. It was good story. For its like for its time though. Like when we were No like up. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know there was other ones. Yeah. And then I saw the second one and I was like, Damn, this is really good too. Or these cool clones. And I was into the uh the robot with four lightsabers and he was sensitive in the force. Uh, uh General Grievous? Yes, he was he's he's like my favorite droid thing other than the droidicas the circle yeah the droidicas. those are cool uh, and I saw that one and I was like damn that's a really cool looking bird there's like a, he rides a green bird thing when you mean the iguana yeah it was like basically an iguana <laughs> I, I like the noise it makes it was like <laughs> it was so cool and then General Grievous is going away like on a speeder yeah. it looked like a pod racer I was like oh it's like cool chasing you're like and then they have space battles yeah and, uh, he gets his arm cut off the one thing I love from Star Wars the prequels is like the way they show the uh, the Emperor how he rises to power yeah because like the first one he's like a senator and then the second one he becomes the chancellor and then the third one he becomes the Emperor and it's pretty cool. I don't know. I, I especially like... <sighs> and then the third one, when they're having... He's conflicting with who he should kill and let live. And he kills every kid ever. <laughs> you mean all the uh, kiddie Jedis? Yeah, he kills every kid ever. I and think... then he... You know what's weird? He does bring balance to the Force. But like the dark side. No. There's two Sith left and there's two Jedi left. It's the balance to the Force. Then one kills one. And the other kills the other. So now there's one and one left. Because there used to be like a hundred. I know, I know. There used to be like a hundred, like, um, like thousands of Jedi. Like on both sides, there's evil guys and good guys. Well, and no. He, it, he technically kind of brought balance to the Force. And I thought he never really, the only, he was, eh, it, it, it kind of worked out. Kinda. I think when they mean balance, well, I think when they, well, in my opinion, when they say balance to the Force, I thought like they meant the good would outweigh the bad but like he, like kind of like how you said technically he did but like opposite or he the the evil conquered the good you get me uh did it really well yeah dude what are you talking about like obi-wan went into hiding yoda went into hiding the the empire grew and took over every star system oh but that was two jedi the only thing was the clones and they were they're just following orders. Yeah, really but that, but it's still a large amount. And there's the evil too, because they they murdered almost every other Jedi. Oh, I started crying. And, and then the, the third movie when they all the Order sixty six. I love like, no, how it was what? Execute oh. Order sixty six. Ah, and then they started. And they shoot everyone down. Yeah, and, and, and like how they don't like, kill Yoda. How Yoda? No, oh, he fucking wrecks them. Yeah, he just goes like, mm, and like does a backflip. Them. Because he's having like a um, million heart attacks. Because he feels yeah, all the all yeah. He has like his little force attack. Like <gasps> he having heart attacks, like for real. Yeah. And then I like the final scenes where they're fighting each other. Oh, Obi Wan and Anakin. And yeah. And then uh, Yoda and the Emperor. And how Yoda's fucking flipping all over the place. <laughs> I love how people complain about that. Like, why does he have a cane if he can be jumping around? It's a cane. What the hell do you want? I, I, I He's old. He needs a cane. I used it as, like... He uses it as a, like... Trick it's, you? You get me? Just yeah, to trick you? but also, he's using the force when he fights. What the? When, like, he's jumping. He can't jump. It's the force. It helps him attack. That doesn't make sense. Oh, my God. He uses the force from his feet. To get into his opponent to attack, like him. Obi, like how they did in the first one, like how they were able to do like those humongous backflips. Yeah, over. Okay, like how you. they jump up to Darth Maul. Yeah, and how they force him into the next room, and then how Darth Maul forces this uh, thing into yeah, the wall I to get open you. the door. It, in every fight, they use the Force and like dark magic and stuff, and lightning. You got the Force. You got the lightning. You got the lightsaber. That the lightsaber is using the Force to activate it and use it. What I actually find uh, now that I talked about lightsabers, I kind of like how the the effects of lightsabers change. Like before, it was like a skinny ass. Yeah. Or like it was an actual sword. Like it was like a fencing sword. Like it was super skinny. And then like for the prequels, I like how everyone lost their shit when Darth Maul came out, and he had two things. That was so cool. Like. <laughs> 
And there, they had good fights in, in the first one, too, with Darth Maul. Because, like... It was, like, an hour long, holy shit, while Anakin was in space doing another space fight. Yeah, because, like, um... Even though, like, popular, like, popular decision, like, the prequel had the horrible story. I thought it was a good story. Well, like, for us, like... How, how Anakin became the bad guy. Yeah, but, I mean, like, to most... It to, wasn't his fault, though. Yeah, like, but to, like, other Star Wars fans that were existed before we even lived... Yeah. They were, they saw it as crap, dude. I've never seen the other movies, the are three you, original. Are ones. you joking right now? No, nah, dude. I know that there's the ice fight on Hoth, right? Or the camel. Are you robot. serious? You haven't watched four, no. five, and six? <laughs> I know there's one where he's like, Leia's telling the guy, Han Solo. Han Solo, and then he's like, I know, and then he gets frozen, and then there's that's one. not what he said, dude. You. <sighs> Doesn't she tell him I love you? Yeah, he's, but you don't say Han Solo. Han Solo. And then, okay, that's what you're basically describing. I, <laughs> so I didn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> Roll it back. Look at the tapes. <laughs> you can hear me say that she said that to him. And then he's like, I know. And then, he's and like, then he gets frozen in carbonite or yeah. some brown shit. It's carbonite. Yeah. And Boba Fett. I can't believe. Wait, Are Boba you? Fett? Didn't he get, die? That's that Django is, Fett. That's oh, that's his son. Okay, I get it. You have to watch 4, 5, and 6. I you, want to. you can't just go to 7 without watching 4, 5, and 6. Why, though? Because nah, I, I get it. Yeah. Because 1, 2, and 3 were, pre- were prequels. 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 <laughs> prequels. Oh. Yeah, they were prequels to 4, 5, and 6. Just so you understand Darth Vader and the Empire and how they grew. 4, 5, and 6. I know there's one where he shoots a guy. And he's falling down, and he's like, ah! <laughs> what are you talking about? It's, it's a scream in every movie. Or no, and that one, and then the swamp, I think. No, not the swamp. A uh, stormtrooper gets shot, and he falls off when the, he does, like, a grapple thing across the way with Leia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know the scream I'm talking about? I know what you're talking ah! about. <laughs> it's funny. I love how... Holy shit. We get st- <laughs> What? I love how uh, like a wild growl if just killed my team. Um, what, the, what are they gonna say? Oh, that I need to see them. Yeah, yeah. I know he them. gets punched by a yeti, and that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Did he, you know? Uh, he opens a tauntaun or something. Yeah. He sticks him in there. He's like, you just I keep thought they warm. smelled bad right on, on the, the outside. outside. Yeah. I know that happens. I know there's a thing in, in the swamp with Yoda on his back and he trains in the ways of the form. Yeah. There's uh the one black guy, the second black guy in Star Wars. What do you mean Billy second? Billy What do you say second? Oh, Mace Windu. Okay, I get you. Yeah, it's Samuel Jackson. Yeah, yeah, I get you. No, 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 I understand. And That's why I was. You know, it's like Harry Potter too. There's only like five black people in the whole school. <laughs> and one of them's a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and he's from Africa. Holy shit! An African how, black wizard. What how racist boy? can Harry Potter be? And. I know he's like, no, Luke, I am your father. No! <laughs> I know that happens. And then in the end, they win, and everyone's ghost comes out. Yeah. And he ends up being Did a good you, guy. He's um, like, no, son. Because he saves him at yeah. the last thing, and the whole shit's exploding. It's yeah. going down, and he's like, I want to see you with my own eyes. I know, and I know. And then he looks like kind of fucked up. He looks like a... And then he leaves him there on the thing, doesn't he? No, he takes him. Oh, I thought he left. No, he takes him. He takes because oh. that's where they burn his body at um, the celebration. As like, he ended up being kind of a good guy. Did you uh, know change. that he they? Changed his mind at the um, end. what happened? What? what? They revised six. How it ends with? Because like in the original, not many people know this. In the original, it was old Obi Wan, Yoda, and some old guy who played Anakin. Like it looked nothing like the one from the prequels. You get me? It was like some old guy. Anakin. Yeah. He never comes out. Isn't he always in the Darth Vader armor? No, when he dies, he it's it's him outside. Of, like, he's not wearing Darth Vader. He's like, it's his old self before he became Darth Vader. It's crazy. He needs the armor. He's, how do he survive He's a the ghost. Lava? Why does he need armor? He's a oh, ghost. What are you talking about? You mean after? At the after, after he's, yeah, after, after they burn his body and they're oh, like celebrating. They, they 
They get his younger self from the prequels. Yeah, right? that's why they re- they revised it. Because before it was before they made the prequels, it was some old guy. Oh, and I, then, I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, and then when the prequels so came out, so now the prequels came out, they changed, changed it, it with the new guy. Oh, okay. So it looks weird to like see like Chris an old Jadenson yeah. Or something. So it looks weird to see like an old Obi Wan, an old Yoda, and like a teenage no. Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> I, I, I think it's good. I like it. I don't. I imagine seeing some fucked up black armor shit in a ghost form and then like that's why when you were saying right now when he comes back in a ghost he's gonna wear the outfit and I'm like how is he gonna wear the outfit he kept no oh my god what are you talking about hey you also have your chips there you never fucking ate them you better eat them this time what are you talking about Oh, they're in the right pants there. Are you serious about the chips? I it was like, I don't want to eat the chips. And you're like, you better eat the chips. Oh, I thought I thought you wanted chips. That's why no, I got one. You just here. gave me the bag of chips. And I was like, not to be rude, so I'll just carry this bag of chips. Wow. You pass on to me then. Fucking. Anyways. So, <laughs> we're coming to the end of this podcast. Did we just start? Has it been an hour? It's been an hour. Really? Yeah. Wait, are those the only topics? Fucking Star Wars? It's not, the, dude, what are you talking about? This is like, Star Wars was like the major news this week. Don't yeah. worry, we're not over yet. Oh, no, I was asking like, oh. I thought we'd have more topics than this. Like last week, we had like four. Yeah, but every everything got dominated by Star Wars. Like, yeah, it was like, yeah. it could have been like, Ch- children in Africa found Star Wars episode 7. And then everyone lost their mind. And then like, they're like, who cares about these African kids? It's all about Star Wars. Shout out to Africa. Yeah, sorry, Africa. No hating on you, kids. Anyway, so... Also, another big invent that came out before Star Wars. Invent. Or after. Invent. Event. Event. After. Yeah, I guess that after Star Wars. Event. <laughs> you still with that? Okay. Say it right. God damn it. Back to the future. Do you? The day that Marty McFly oh, yeah. and, Doc, and Doc Brown... They were doing a whole thing. Yeah. Like, I, I saw the first movie for the first time. You did? Yeah. You watched it? Did you like it? Yeah. Like, I think... This is how I think. People who bandwagoned and were like... Who had no idea what, uh, like, Back to the Future was. And, like, they were just like, oh, my God. Like, they just saw some topic and they're, like, telling all their other friends. Like, reposting it, retweeting it. Like, hey, everybody. On Wednesday, it's Back to the Future Day. And It like, wasn't even. It was, like just happened to be the day yeah but it's technically oh dude did you know everything's correct we we have self drying clothes we do not as have in, self no oh. the ex temp like they keep you cool even when it's hot it's kind of oh okay kind of I get really, you they have that they have we don't uh, have re- but we don't have retying shoes they do Adidas came out you didn't see Adidas has their own retiring yeah, shoes. Yeah, they look exactly in the movie. They're okay, all that's, silver with green. No, that was a special event. But that's not to like help. the same thing as. The no, movie. it was. The, it was exactly the movie. So you're telling me when they helped, put on no, the shoes, it the ties sho- themselves. But Don't not, be it's, such a liar. It's not. It's not super fast. It's like slow, but they tie themselves. I'm gonna fucking show you, and you're gonna look like a dumbass on your own podcast. And you're gonna have to put a screenshot of this shit. It's uh, I'm gonna put a screenshot of David <laughs> looking like an idiot. Yeah, take a picture point. of me on my bed. <laughs> Shit, I did. When? Yeah, when you were looking. God damn it! Thanks. So I'm gonna, uh, you gonna better see, you. I better see myself on this podcast. So you're gonna see David in his pajama wearing self. Anyways, hang on. Uh, what's his face? Michael J. Fox. Yeah. He has Parkinson's. So he was on fucking Jimmy Kimmel. Calm down with the fuck. <laughs> Jesus. He was on Jimmy Kimmel wearing the shoes. And hang on, I just need to find this so I can prove to your ass. Sorry to the people about the foul language. I'm pretty sure most people don't care about it. But I mean, like. Just put a. There, I think they have this thing where you can put that. Yeah, age restriction. An L. Not really, just an L for language. That's why it's an H. That's not A. There's like. There's, oh, don't whatever. Worry. Hang on. But, anyways, yeah, David here's got a potty mouth. He's got to clean that stuff up. Get some Clorox. Here we go. It's even on Google. It's the fourth thing. Michael J. Fox, Nike. ABC News. Nike setting okay, wait, 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 first wait. Back to the Future self-tying shoes to Michael J. Fox. Because I see, three days I seen the video, and it's just him putting on the shoes. They're not tying themselves. Oh, my God. 
Here's the actual video. So you can shut the hell up. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. Hurry up. Uh, like, it. anyways, but today was back... Well, on Wednesday, it was Back to the Future Day. Everyone lost their minds. I think people who actually knew the franchise kept it to themselves. And when it happened, everyone was like, this is a cool day. Oh, okay, wait. So, what I was saying, we have hoverboards. We don't have hoverboards. There's the one that it's barely off the ground. Lexus? It's a hoverboard. It, well... Lexus. No, no. There's that, and there's a thing where you put your two feet on it, and it rolls, and you don't have to walk. That's that's kind, like, that's, that's, that's kind of futuristic. It was not really a hoverboard. Yeah. But there is the hoverboard. It has like, but Lexus made one, but it's with magnets. So if you're only in a magnet. No, I'm telling you, it's a real. It's, it's kind of a real hoverboard. hoverboard. I want. It's say like super black, and it has like a text on where you put your feet, and it's. Uh, on the bottom it has like blue LEDs anyways but yeah so you know Back to the Future great movie back then I love the movie I love oh Back my to god the oh my god oh my god part 2 oh my god <laughs> oh my god you need to put this 8 second video in the fucking so you can see Michael J. Fox cause he has Parkinson's so uh, he started his own foundation for that and these self tiny shoes made by Nike were wanted to give it to him first because yeah. he tried them on first I'll put a link in that description too to Michael J. Fox's Parkinson's tying shoes thing no disrespect to Michael J. Fox I, I, that? he was a I like this character in Back to the Future you can even hear the machine in the hang on let me get your let me get your I'm waiting here. Like yeah, you're waiting. Look at this. There he is. You can see them getting tight. See, he even says it's really great for him. Oh my god. So, anyways, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what that is? That's one of these in your face. <laughs> it's me flipping you off. It's uh, David showing me a pancake. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, I don't. I don't think there's flying cars right now. There are self tying shoes. They're about to go on sale in 2016. There's the hoverboards. Self driving Kind clothes. of hoverboard. My Google Glass. That yeah, they have to. That's that, a real. That's thing. a real thing. That's a real thing. There's. Uh, we don't have uh, a pizza that trick that can grow. No, I, I, that. that's the one thing I was hoping for. Look at those shoes. They look just like they do in the movie. It's so cool. Flying cars we don't have. Hoverboards. Well, they're not called hoverboards. They're kind of hoverboards. Until they're like Back to the Future 2 where you just do this. Like, well, you can't see me podcast, but I'll like put a gif of... The, the leg? Of like, no. Of like, maybe Michael J. Fox like, like trying to scoot over with this hoverboard. But like that, that's a hoverboard. Not when you have to like, just, you're on it for like a second and then it flops on the floor. You get me? Uh, no, no. It's a real hoverboard. It's it's not as small in the video, in the movie. It's like thick. So hang on, I'm gonna search that. Up Wait, now. was Tony Hawk writing it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, then yeah, I see now. You know that black one, right? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell oh, you. Okay. Well, I thought you were talking about the Lexus one. That's another one it's I saw. The, it's the Lexus. You haven't seen the Lexus one? Well, the writing Lex the Lexus hoverboard in Spain. That. Yeah, but it's with magnets. It's not technically hoverboard. You have to be like somewhere where there's metal oh. to like hover against it because it's like. Like science, like negative and positive. Yeah, Tony Hawk rides world's first real hoverboard. No, that and then and then there's the hoverboard segways. Cooper, it's here. He's <laughs> telling his dog it's here. It's look, there it is. It's like the. Oh, don't don't end that. No, I know which one you're talking about for Tony. For like the wheels. Oh yeah, those I've you, seen. Yeah, the, yeah, those are kind of hoverboards. There's a person in our school who uses that. Oh yeah, I saw it at Tamiya. Yeah, I was like, "Holy shit, what the fuck is that?" <laughs> Cause I I've was, never seen it. Before. I was laughing because like he just rode up. Like, I was waiting for someone to play. Ro what was that song? They see me rolling, <laughs> they hating. Like I was waiting for someone to play because like he just look. No joke. This is what he was wearing that Shout day. Shout out to that man. He was wearing dark sunglasses, <laughs> a jacket. And he was just he was just moving forward and he was just like Ooh, and he was just rolling into his class. He rolled into his class like nothing. Like he op like the teacher was right there and you hear everyone go Ooh, like 
Is this sounded like gold? Yeah. <laughs> this castle's haunted by Everyone lots of ghosts. <laughs> Uh, but since that came out and everyone's kind of tripped and falls about Back to oh, the Future. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to think what other things happened in Back. How to do the you future. feel? Holograms, not Jaws nineteen. Wait, wait, wait I was gonna tell you. Tupac was a hologram. Uh, yeah, I was gonna tell you Holograms that. Holograms are real. Um, how do you feel? Do you think our future is gonna one day end up something like Back to the Future? Not exactly, but something like, like it in a movie. Yeah, yeah like in a movie. Go back in time. Or you see us right now? No, 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 no. I mean, like in the sense that we're gonna have the inventions that we should have had in Back to the Future, too. Except you know, more modernized and not as silly as they thought back then. I mean, silly. Because you haven't seen like how they wore their clothes back then. They wore it like if they were eighties clothes. Well, yeah, eighties future clothes. Yeah, that was really cool. I thought. Like, well, no, it is cool, but I mean, like today, everyone like looks at it like. I think we will get to that point. Like, everyone's joking around about it, but we'll get to there. Because, like... What? The way that they dressed in, like, 80s... We're gonna go back in time when we go more in the future? Yeah, because, like... That'd be pretty cool. Because think about it. Like, we're dre- like people are dressing up now like if they did in the 1930s and 40s. Like, super slick, suits, beards. You know that's for work, right? <laughs> no, no, no. No, not a suit. Just the coat itself. You get me? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So like they're With just like top hats and monocles. top hats and all that stuff. They're wearing like they're hipsters like, like and stuff that. like that. Like hipsters are fucking annoying. Go fucking die. No hating to hipsters. Shout out to hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. There were holograms. That's a real thing. There's Tupac. more social media than ever before. Yeah, that everyone is true. has a personal hand device. You know, There's I never Google had one. Glass, I'm gonna be for real. I didn't have Facebook until last year. Yeah. Fucking rock. Dwellers. No, I I I thought Dave I Dwellers. thought rock. I thought having Facebook was, in my opinion, stupid. Cause like I personally would rather talk to a person face to face. Yeah. Than Everyone does that. But the thing, the, the, the only difference is people text and use the, Facebook Messenger. The thing that sucks. You just fart. What? No, I just. It moved. sounded like you farted. No, Sorry. but like, people. I think now society is having is being more socially awkward. Yeah. Yeah, cause like. Yeah. First of all, like, yeah, yeah. we don't even uh, acknowledge each other. Well, we do, but not like in the sense where back then where you'd be like, hey, Johnny, hey, Jimmy, how's the weather? You know, now you, you just sit in your couch. Back, back then, I'm pretty sure no one ever talked yeah, about Yeah, but I, it's just an example. Like, you get me? Like, like talking, like no, face to face. I'm sorry, I don't get you. Okay, hey, John, <laughs> can you give me some milkshakes? And then, like, you hear the, my milkshake bring another grist to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> that song wasn't even out in the fucking so anyways 50s. yeah Strongly. like that's like imagine that and then like nowadays growing you, city you can be like how you are right now sitting in your bed and I could be in my room doing whatever and you I'll just be like hey David what's up and then you could be like boop nothing boop and it's just like back and forth rather than I do that with my brother huh? like sometimes at night he gets in his room over there and we just scream at each other <laughs> Like, we're lying in bed, and we don't text, even though we can, we just scream at each other. That's what, that's what me and my sister do. Like, we have bedrooms across, so it's, it's we have something to say. Like, we're not, like, texting. Texting, we're just like, I do it! And we're like, Ugh! you know? Like, it's that simple. Are you and your sister secretly <laughs> monsters? <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, now to you, the end. You threw it off. Anyways, to the end. <laughs> to the end of this nice, podcast, we're coming to our horror news. Oh, what? And, uh... Did you hear they were they're rebooting Freddy, Friday the 13th? And they've made re- it, they're rescheduled making a game. it for, like, 2017? No, did you know they're making a video game for Friday the 13th? Yeah, it's not called that, but it's uh, kind of like Evolve 4v1. No, it's, it's Friday the 13th. Oh. They made oh, yeah, I saw the trailer. Yeah. I was so hyped. But there's another one. Yeah, I, know I think it's mean. called The Camp or something. Yeah, that yeah. looks real good. Where one person's the killer and you have classes like the nerd can fix the lights and the jock is like the heavy yeah, yeah. Who can, who's the only one that can kind of fight against them. Yeah. You got the... The cheerleader. The cheerleader who's like a medic. You got... There's a bunch of stereotypes. I find it weird why the, why they have the... Why is the cheerleader on that? Like, that she just be like the girl giving blowjobs to Jock. <laughs> no, I think... I think she might do like a morale type of deal. Where she I can make it, everyone stronger and faster. I don't think. 
I think she just like makes and you I feel good. You're getting the, all what I'm saying. And I think the geek can turn on the lights. There's an engineer student who can also turn on the lights, but him. I think. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know how it is. And whenever they stereotype it I, to the point where he's like, there's a bl- equals M squared, square. <sighs> and like, he's like the, solving no, problems. No, they have like good voice actors for everyone. Oh, okay. Like, I think until dawn, I think they're going to have Hayden Fentier for the cheerleader. They'll probably have like Michael Sarah as the geek nerdy guy. But I think they'll all have. I think Michael Sarah wouldn't. But I think they'll all have like a back and forth with each other. I'm and gonna, they'll be like friends because why would they be at a camp together yeah, I'm gonna be for and real. especially they'll be even closer actually talking not being bullies with each other because there's a killer they'll all be trying to help each other out I'm gonna be for right here I oh. would not be able to buy that game if Michael Sarah was there why his What's voice right? annoys me dude I fucking love Michael Sarah. I think if I heard Michael Sarah's voice and I'm playing a game I like just drop my controller <laughs> run out the window and just go ah like Cause, and then who's, like, a, who's a good uh, geeky voice actor? Have you seen the guy? Maybe Josh Gad. No, Josh Gad. If Josh, I can't take him seriously. <gasps> exactly, that makes him good. He's a nerd. You're not. Well, you're supposed to take him. He's like the only serious one, but no one gives a shit about him. Oh my god. I see. You're such an asshole. Like the, like the guy who plays. Uh, have you seen Criminal Minds? No. In your oh what? yes, yes. The, the, the smallest one, like. Not really, the like tall, the skinny one. Yeah, the skinny yeah, one. Yeah. That one, I could picture him. The or one that can't shoot his gun, but he shoots him. He's like, oh, I was aiming for his leg. Fucking got a headshot. Yeah, on. like, <laughs> like that's what I mean. Like, something like that, I could yeah. be like, whoa, that, believe that. Now, like, Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. What like, about what about Jonah Hill? That'd be pretty interesting. I, I can see that, I guess. So, anyways, they, they're doing a Kickstarter. You can put a link to that, a screenshot. Yeah, they kicks, have videos. You want a kickstart to, they uh, have videos out where you're the killer, he's holding the axe, and he hits it like, and he makes the noise. Does he, they make, have him, does like, he make a Frankenstein noise? No, <laughs> no, yeah, he like, like I don't know why. How when you though. swing an axe, you make noises. Yeah. He, they have him on a grid, they have like good, his good arms, good axe. It looks like a really good character model. They have different killers, which is super cool, which yeah. is interesting. I thought that'd be badass, like five different killers. I, I really want good uh, stereotypes. Like, who are good people? Like, I know there could be the jock, the cheerleader, and the nerd. They're already, they're already confirmed, like, as... The, the, the main three playable characters. The emo chick, the chick who like doesn't give a fuck. Oh, like the dark emo person. Yeah, the person. I think it'd like, be a good person, like even bigger than the dark. Or like can actually damage the innocent too. girl who does nothing. Oh, like the younger one, like not, not a younger someone's one. little sister. No, not like that. I think that'd be good though. No, not like, like that. maybe a freshman. No, because then you like feel bad killing a little <laughs> girl. Oh, oh shit! How are they? Is this gonna be an adults only game since you're killing teenagers? Or how would that be rated M? Damn, that would be cool. If they already have art, uh, concept art out for the lake cabin hybrid that they're doing. They have inside a high school. Didn't they close it? Didn't they shut it down? What, the Kickstarter? Yeah. Oh, fuck, no way. I wanted to... They did, uh, yeah. Like $50. I think they did. Did they already get their goal or what? No, they like shut it down. Like Friday the 13th shut them down. What? Because in a video they referenced Friday the 13th. And like they were able to shut that down, and then afterwards they this is this is complete speculation, but it's also the truth. So it's kind of it's half and half. But um, they took they canceled them, and then afterwards they made they released their own. Like they announced, "Hey guys, you kickstarted this fucking video game. Look at ours!" And it was Friday the Thirteenth, and it had what? Jason. It's pretty old. Oh, it's called Last Year. Halloween update! Fuck you! This oh, they did? Up, this was updated on November 3rd. Oh, okay, well... Wait, wait. Last year, 5 versus 1 multiplayer survival horror. Experience created by... It might be another one I'm talking about. Dude! 4,099 backers pledged $114,711 to help bring this project to life. October 19th, Halloween update part Friday the 13th has, like, I think more First backers. in-game screenshot and first killer revealed. Oh my god. I need a, why, uh, why can't I refresh? David's getting wet, people. Dude, I'm getting so hyped. Look at this screenshot. This looks really good. 
You can see the girl there. She's scared. She didn't even look. Oh, I just love people. You get the preppy team. Like, the preps of yeah. high school. You can get them in there. You can get a black kid in there. Like, is, uh, like in what, Are they going to make him a racist? Like, really no, stereotype? that's like, that's a stereotype. There's always a black kid. Come on. No, I mean, like, are they going to stereotype him? No, I mean, like, he could also be a jock, too. Okay. They're, no, I don't, like, the geek could be, like, the helper in the library. Or he could be... He could just wear glasses, even. All right. Or he could, like, uh, be an art student. Yeah. There you go. You know, he can paint, like, dummies. And the killer would, like, like slash his sword into the wall. And then he'd be stunned there for, like, ten seconds trying to get this thing out the wall. God damn, it could be a video game developer. Calm down. Again, this is David's wild dreams, people. I, they're not dreams. I'm going to college for that. Well, no, I mean, I wanna, like... I want to do all I that. I mean, like, all these things you're saying. But, all the, anyways. Yeah, so if it, Halloween's next week, and we're having a Halloween podcast, so... Oh, cool. Watch out. Yeah, remember it's every week, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have this thing here. I won't tell you, but I'll show it off in the podcast. So, yeah. So, um... Next week, we'll be having our Halloween podcast. And just to, like, start getting to the Halloween spirit, I thought we could just, uh, like talk about what our favorite horror movies were and why they were our favorite horror movies should be yeah so uh fuck so david the halloween update what's is for backers only so uh like i was saying what is your favorite horror movie uh and why is it like what about it made it su- why, like what made i don't it know if this counts Okay, but I like the Predator movies and the Alien movies. I like yeah, the Alien one more because it was yeah. so scary. There were in the ship. They, they like with a giant monster. Yeah, they count. They count. And what I thought, because I saw when I was a kid, and yeah. what, what scared me the most was when uh, not even when it came out, like the first sighting of it, like they're in the coffee table and it bursts out her chest and it's like. <laughs> And then this one girl, I fucking hate it. She, she makes this noise. It just made me laugh and ruined the whole thing for me. <laughs> it was hilarious. She's like, oh, God. <laughs> it was fucking ruined it. I laughed hardcore, but I was still scared at that thing. And then it came out and then went like 100 miles per hour running, slithering into the next room. Like, holy shit, the thing was fast. Uh... I, for me, I think it was uh, Freddy Krueger. I think that. Oh, I never. I think. Have I seen? I think when I was a kid, I don't think I saw that, that one. shit scared me. And what scared me even more was my Mexican grandma being like, "He's real." And I was like, since I was a little kid, and you're, when you're a kid, you're very gullible and you believe a lot of stuff. So I believed it, and I was like, "Oh did my you god!" Not, did you try to stay up all night that day? No, like I didn't try to stay up. I was just like, I'd be like in my bed and I try to go to sleep and I would wake up every few often because like in the movie like they do that like there's a like if you fall asleep for like if you daydream or if you just pass out <laughs> you hey know, God, like, I, I, I found it I found it I'm sorry you, you, you showed it to me right later no no okay I wanna hang on I wanna go oh shit wait wait <laughs> think fuck oh I think she uh god damn it alright whatever Anyways, I'll show it to you later yeah so like I was saying uh I think that freaked me out because like I was up because like Freddy Krueger gets you if you're daydreaming if you're sleeping he gets you and like no not when you're sleeping and not daydreaming no nah, like makes sense. no like when you daydream because it's just all about dreaming like when you the, think about something no no when, when you you're dream, awake when you're dreaming like he can get you no matter what like like uh. there was like in the the reboot they made a few like a few years back the girl was like in her classroom and she's like kind of like she dozes off like she doesn't fall asleep she just daydreams and then everything just turns into like oh yeah and stuff. in the classroom yeah I think I saw that one scene. But, like I was saying, the, the original Friday the 13th, uh, Friday the 13th, I mean, uh, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, I was scared of him, but yet, he had a lot of personality, which scared me even more. <laughs> I found it. Because, like, back <laughs> wait, then, wait, 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 wait. Back, okay, yeah, back, back then, then. Uh, the 
most horrible thing you can think of was like a silent killer. You get me? Like they didn't talk. They just Ooh. be like Jason. Like I guess you can use Jason for an example. I was about to say Jason. But like he's just like scary. they just. I remember that there's this one scene where high schoolers are fighting him, and the jock black guy he's like punching him, and he's pushing him back like twenty feet. Ooh. The whole thing, the black guy. He's pushing Jason. Yeah, he, they're fighting. And Jason's just there with his sword. And he's just punching him and punching him. Like, dude, he's pushing him back with every punch. And he gets tired. He's like, ah, what do you think about that? And then the guy just, like, punches him once. And his head flies right off. It's super funny. I don't know what Jason weird is, though. I think... I don't know. I don't know. J- like, I'll, like, show, I'll show you that yeah, video, I know. too. A horror, like, horror movies? Well, right, right, right. Like, Listen, I, I, I found this scene and the sound. Well, you can play that to me later. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's so stupid. It just made me laugh. So we're already at the end of our podcast. We, so we hit our one thirty. We're close to hitting our one thirty mark, and we'd like to leave with you knowing upcoming games and movies coming out this week. So let's just talk about that. So this week, well, this Friday. We had Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, uh, Rock the Kabosh with Oh, Bill that's Murray. stupid. What? Paranormal Activity? Yeah. It's dumb. But what I think is good is because uh, it actually looks interesting this time. But fuck them that it took this long to get there. It's like their 10th movie or 7th. Yeah. Also coming out this, that came out this past Friday was a gem in the holograms. And oh my god. So fucking... Finally, at least to stop the damn trailer. And uh, last, the last witch hunter featuring Vin Diesel. All right, that one looks really interesting. And I have Elijah Wood in there. Yeah, and next week. And Vin Diesel. Yeah, <laughs> Vin Diesel all the way, and then next week we have. Oh wait, also forgot to mention Birds. Also came out this Friday. What's that? Uh, I don't. This Friday. This yeah, came out this Friday. I don't. Oh, know. the one just like, the Friday that just passed. Yeah, this Friday, like just this oh, Friday. Okay. It was with uh, Bradley Cooper and being a chef. Well, oh, Burns! I thought you said birds. Or, no, I meant Burns. I and then uh, next week we have Scout Sky to Zombie Apocalypse Woo. and our Brandis Crisis featuring uh, Sandra Bullock. Yeah, Sandra Bullock. Uh, What's the other guy's name? Falcon. No, 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 the other guy. Falcon's in that movie. The, the white guy, the bald. I can't remember his Billy name. Billy Wathorn. There we go. But Billy. who's who's Falcon? Anthony Mackie. Him, he's Anthony in there. Anthony Mackie's in there. And uh, the Mexican guy. <laughs> I don't yes. know exactly though. He looks just like him. And then, for video game news, not a lot. The most recent one, or biggest one that came out, was uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate that uh, came out. I should have told you back when we were talking about Star Wars. What? I remember playing video games, the Lego Star Wars, when you were Yoda. Yeah. He walked like a fucking dickhead. Super <laughs> slow. Super slow with a cane. <laughs> But if you jumped, like double jump front flip, yeah, he like, landed like on a cool floating chair, and then he moved normal, like fast. I thought that was cool. I like it. But yeah, uh, all across the boards for Assassin's Creed Un- uh, Syndicate. Syndicate. I, was, I was about to say Unity. Yeah, that was the last I one. Heard that. Syndicate. It's got eights, nines, like a couple like low numbers, but that's like people who are like talking about historical value, but no one's. No one's there for historical value. You know, I learned a lot from history from playing the video games. Creed games. <laughs> but yeah, mo- like, and, and video some games, of it because I played World at War. That's yeah. a lot of war thing. Call like, of Duty. I learned about World War Two and video shit games in World at War. Like Assassin's Creed, like they they have actual historical figures, but like, and they take place in that time. They take place. In I that time. I, like, I learned a lot about Italy and Rome early years and shit from Assassin's Creed. Like the first with Etsy. No, yeah, with uh, Assassin's Creed three and Brotherhood and the American Revolution. No, too. well, three was the Brotherhood. Uh, no, brother- I mean, three was uh re- the Revolution. American. Yeah, I never American played Revolution. That one. I meant Brotherhood. Yeah. And Revelations. Revolution. Yeah, it was Assassin's Creed two, Revelations, and Brotherhood. Uh, I played those two. Yeah. I played. I got. I kind of. I was a late Assassin's Creed. I played. A, I played it a couple times. Not really got into it because like, I don't know. I never. The time period's kind of like bored me in my opinion. Like mm-hmm. all other people could love. I me. liked how. Uh, Leonardo Leonardo da Vinci was there and he helped build you a flying machine, 
And it gave you a second blade stabber. I think, uh... Like, like in my opinion, yeah. I think Leonardo da Vinci would be the only one who could design a hidden blade that would come out, like, if you flex your arm. Yeah. And then you flex it again, it'll hide. I think that's badass. I want to build one. Hey, did you know people build that? Yeah. You they they build, like, hand flamethrowers and yeah. hidden blades you didn't on know YouTube. That? that shit's crazy. So those people don't have to do some DIY. Dude, they should show videos on how to so I can rob people by flaming their heads off. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. So, this is the end of our podcast, everybody. We huh. hope you enjoyed. Uh, like always, this is me, Justin. God damn. Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to that Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> you're supposed to say, and you're supposed to And, say, yeah. And this is David Rodriguez. And this is the end of the Alrighty uh, Please Stop, stop podcast. podcast. Or the Weekend Podcast. Or and the Apps. 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 Podcast. That sound, like, that sound like a broken record. Like, apps, 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 <laughs> apps. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this podcast. Tell your friends, we need views. <laughs> we just started. You and, can hear uh, how desperate he is by saying what he just said. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, later, guys. Have a great time, and we'll see you We'll see next you on week. Halloween, right? Yeah, next week on we'll, Halloween we'll, special. We'll talk about Halloween news stories, yeah. uh, firework We'll pranks. get into, like, yeah, we'll get into all we'll that. We'll get into our favorite costumes and shit like that. Yeah. So we hope you guys stick with us till the next time. Have a great day. See ya.